The history of logarithms is quite interesting. It's a case where mathematicians work to see patterns and solve problems for their days. But they also inadvertently gave future societies like ours a math tool for completely different purposes. Back to the 1600s, and there was a lot happening. International trade and commerce was rapidly evolving, and it was also dubbed the Age of Science. As Galileo proved the solar-centered universe, both the telescope and the microscope were invented, and Isaac Newton, one of the greatest minds ever, was publishing his discoveries. It was a busy time, and people were needing to make lots of calculations. Multiplications were a common calculation that proved very time-consuming, as these were the days before calculators and computers, of course. Along came John Napier, a Scottish man who worked in math, physics, and astronomy, and he recognized that doing addition by hand was so much quicker than doing multiplications. So he started looking for a way to do multiplication more like addition. Now that sounds quite impossible, doesn't it? Given that, after a lot of work looking at number patterns, he figured it out. He published his discovery in a book translated to be called The Description of the Wonderful Rule of Logarithms. Resulting logarithmic tables worked like this. Let's say that we wanted to multiply 3 times 4. Now we all know that this is 12, right? But let's just use this simple example to establish how this works. So let's start with the 3. We look it up on our logarithmic table and we find 0 0.477. Next, we look up the 4, and here we have the 4, and it is 0 0.602. And so we add these together, and referring back to our table, we find our addition, and voila, here's our answer, 12. So suddenly multiplications could be done far more efficiently, even the ones that are far more complicated than this. You just need a set of logarithmic tables. As a result of these tables, math, science, economics, and anything else involving calculations was able to flourish again. Amazingly, he was able to break the bottleneck that was holding everyone back, and now the required calculations can be done far more quickly and accurately. So, what have we learned here? The 1600s was a very progressive time. Napier, and others to be fair, brilliantly came up with a set of tables to seriously help that progress. And you're probably thinking, cool, okay, smart guy, but who cares? We have calculators and computers now. So learning about a discovery of a bunch of tables in history kind of seems irrelevant to me. If I need to do a multiplication, I'm just going to pull out my calculator or resort to my computer. So why do we see these log buttons on our calculator? Why do we hear about logarithmic scales to measure sound, earthquakes, acidity, etc.? Why do we care about logs? Well, that's the next part of this story.